Blackhawks, how you doing? Welcome to the first school news broadcast of the new semester. Hopefully you're doing better than ever because today we present to you a series of the best stories we could find from at home and in the classroom. This next story from Lena Jandali is for all of our aspiring performers, actors, and thespians. Forensics is a great opportunity for young actors to express their love for the art of acting. And now, for more information on the subject, let's see what Lena has to say. Hello Blackhawks, the forensic season has officially begun. But this year, things look a little bit different. Competitors are competing from the comfort of their own homes over video conferencing apps. We spoke to a member of the Bloomfield Hills High School forensics team to gain insight into her thoughts on the new 2021 digital season. I'm Alexa and I compete in informative for the forensics team at Bloomfield Hills High School. In my opinion, the competition we had a couple of weeks ago went really well. It was so exciting to see some familiar faces and get to watch people perform their speeches as well as give my own speech from the comfort of my own home. And it was nice to be able to stay safe and protect the people I love and all of my family and friends. Despite these changes, BHHS maintained its strong record and set the new season off to a great start by scoring first place at the February 6th tournament. In fact, Bloomfield ended the day with a win in five categories, which include duo, multiple, storytelling, sales, and oratory. Great job to all those who competed at the February 6th tournament. To make the season even more digital, the BHHS Forensics team has created an official Instagram account, at BHHS Forensics. Here, anything from top scorers to upcoming information will be featured. Make sure to check it out and even give it a follow. Make sure to wish your fellow forensicators a good luck at their upcoming tournaments. This was Lena Chandali with BHS TV News. Thanks, Lena. This year, many students have missed out on the opportunity to really get to know their teachers per the limited class time. We are now going to take it over to Blake to give us three fun facts with our Bloomfield Hills teacher. Welcome back to Fun Facts with Teachers. Today, we got to sit down and talk with one of our English and Pathway teachers, Mrs. Lowry, about some fun facts and interests of hers. Hi, my name is Nicole Lowry. I am one of the English and Cal teachers here at the high school. Um, three fun facts about myself are, um, I am a huge fan of 90s rap and hip hop. Um, so if you were to pull up alongside me, driving down Telegraph after school, you would definitely hear 105.1, probably bumping in my car. Second fact that I will share um, is that I have a famous relative connection, um, loosely, I guess, if you want to consider them famous. Um, I am related to a former WWE, WWF, depending on the time frame, um, wrestler named Tatanka. Um, I'm a tribally enrolled um, of the Lumbee Nation, and so he is a, a cousin of mine. Um, and let's see, a third fun fact that I can share is, I guess I'll go with I'm a huge um, coffee fanatic. Um, I have a coffee plant in my that I grow. Um, it has yet to produce beans for me, um, but I am a huge fan of French press coffee. I um, also like roast and only buy whole bean coffee. So I'm probably a coffee snob in that way um, in terms of my morning choice of beverage. Um, but you will always see that kind of with me. I'm a, I'm a butt first coffee person. Sure. And those are my three fun facts for today. Thank you for sharing your interest with us, Mrs. Lowry. Back to you, Wade. That was fun to watch. Now, Blackhawks, we are going to break barriers and actually turn it over to yours truly with a little story about the Bloomfield Theater Department and the inventive ways that shows are being produced. Multiple of the MIFA shows going on right now are student directed. However, due to the pandemic, the shows could not take place in person in front of an audience. The theater department has overcome this challenge, though, by using green screen technology over the all too familiar Zoom caller. Props were safely distributed for the kids to take home to perform their lines and blocking in front of a green screen and behind the camera. Hopefully we can soon return to our regular form of theater production, but these shows are still vastly entertaining in the acting and the creative set design. Thanks, Wade. You're looking good, by the way. Anyways, Blackhawks, that will conclude this episode of BHHS TV News. I hope you found something to take away from these stories if you're not more informed nonetheless. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.